No doubt it questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Max the brand, and I'm here with Lauren. Hello. Okay, so if you don't know, and if you haven't been on Instagram, and you're not one of these people that need your daily dose of funny, Lauren does some of the best, craziest, relatable skits that I think. Kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're always online and we always need that little kiki, right? Kiki. You give us that kiki. <laughs> kiki. You give us that. <laughs> that, yes, I need that dose of funny today. Where you get your inspiration from? Mm. I mean, a lot of it comes from music, but my background really started on, like, doing theater my 10th grade year of high school. So... It was always like, well, not really. It's actually way back before then. Uh, me and my sisters used to get in front of like a live tape recording, and we was Destiny's Child, we was Insane, we was Backstreet Boys. It was three of us, so we was always doing like those kind of numbers. Like mm -hmm. our parents used to put that up as far as that was our babysitter. When they would want to leave, they would put that up, and we're like, oh, we're good, you know. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just always been that. You just been a natural entertainer. Yeah, you know, like, I'm funny. I like to do this. I like to have fun. Like I feel like life's always better when you're laughing. Like I don't know. Okay, that's cute. Um, so <laughs> what we want to do is go to one of those skits, and so everybody can actually see one of your skits and how you became insta, insta famous, insta popular. <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, hey. What are you doing? None, just chilling. You weren't waiting on me, was you? Yeah, I was waiting on you. <laughs> Damn, girl, you know you sexy. Yeah. Is that that Malachi, too? Mm -hmm. I know you in the mood. Why don't you take that off? Let me see something. Let me see something. Stop playing. Stop playing. Yeah. Don't tease me like that. Bitch, I thought you was natural. So, catching your hair on fire. Has that ever happened to you before? Have you ever had a moment where you just thought that you was about to be sexy and maybe you kind of was like hunched over and thought you were going to hit it from the back and somebody you farted or somebody? Like, t tell me some of the craziest things that have happened that you actually made a skit out of. Well, I've never caught my hair on fire because I love my hair too much. Mm. But I have been with a friend who caught her hair on at the, uh, the W, mm -hmm. Whiskey Blue or whatever, Whiskey mm -hmm. something. And she was actually ordering a drink, and she leaned over, and, like, the whole kind of front end was, like, <sighs> and the whole place smelled like hair. Burnt hair. hair. And she cried. Like, she was like, oh, my God. And it was her real hair, too. She, oh, You know, every now and then she had weave in it, but. That should have been the night that she wore the uh, lace front. Oh, my gosh. Like, it, nose hairs, everything was gone. I was just like, whoo, thank God it wasn't me. Like, I'm glad she took her nose drink order instead of me. But, um. A lot of the, the skits you see on my page literally either come from Lonnie, who I work with a lot, something he's already been through relationship-wise or I've been through relationship-wise or stuff that we've actually experienced in our life, whether I've been at a gas station, grocery store, any of that stuff. It's like literally stuff that has happened to me. You're so pretty. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's like, what's your name? Too shiny? You know, the T-bone is like... No, but just tell me, like, people, their perception of you. So, you know, the show is about beyond perception. So, being that you are so pretty, and you're just very much just so cute, you know, your little red bone, good hair. <coughs> so, tell me about the perception that people may have of you. True, untrue? Um, of course, maybe the whole light skin thing, like... Oh, she's pretty, she's cute or whatever. She's probably stuck up. She's probably got an attitude. Like, that's the normal perception of a light-skinned chick. So it's like, once this mouth opens, it's like, oh, shit, she's totally different. Like, she's See? down to earth. Hey. She's funny. She's got a little tomboyish in her. Like, she's cool. She's down, like, she's, she's 
it's cool as fuck. Like, that's always a response I get once people really got, get to me. Like, damn, you ain't really what I thought you was. Like, always, hands down. Hands down. You like, try me. How about that? You gonna see. You ain't up. You ain't up. I went. Uh, well, that's I've all right, girl. You just get you a couple of dark skin friends. You all right. You be all right. I'm just, the, I'm not really the, I'm that movement with the catch me outside. Like, I'm I'm still in the air about that. Like, I don't want my children growing up watching that thinking that's okay. Like, it's not. I feel like she really needs to go back and take some <laughs> speech something. Like, that. it's not cute to talk like that. It's not. But I think we all, you are in an area right now, right, where the things that you do, somebody can emulate, right? Sure. And it's not necessarily going to always be what the next person would want their daughter or their son. You you did a, uh, today you posted something and it had the meme with the, the clown on it, right? And what did you say behind it? Just playing, kind of was it. So I think that we do things and we say things, not necessarily thinking that it's going to catch on and be a fad. But the inner, you are viral right now. You're and right. how are you viral? You're viral because you did something that caught people's attention. So a lot of times when we're online and we're saying things, we don't even know the power that we have. True. I'm quite sure that you didn't know that this was going to take no. off the way that it took, took off. And that's why I say I'm in the air about it. Like, it's, it's funny because, like, they have a little hip song and stuff like that. I just, like, all I want her to do at this point is just, like, if since you got this many, like, behind you mm-hmm. and following you, bring something positive of this viral success. Okay. Like, as, as long as I'm being goofy, I'm doing this, there's still, like, a positive note. If you see, like, my modeling pictures and, like, stuff that I post besides being funny, it's sending very positive, like, words and just very uplifting things bring into the universe like i want i want the i want the world to be happy in general right i want people to be happy because i feel like everybody's had that day where someone has passed away or someone's got locked up or this and that where it can bring that bright day to a very gloomy day so it's like laugh a little live a little love a little or love a lot you know what i'm saying it's just like i just want her to bring something from what the success she's bringing in. And so that's what your mission... When you when you think about going viral and being successful in your craft, because I'm sure you don't want to just be, Yeah, there's a goal. There's yes, an end goal. Okay. Yeah. So the end goal is to be Inspiring. on a platform or nonprofits, any kind of missions that you're looking to invest in, start? Um, or? Well, the next goal from here is definitely, you know, TV film. And then from there... To where when I have, when I'm making that kind of money to where I can give back, I want to give back to the homeless and also cancer because my father passed away from cancer. And then I've actually had a couple survivors from breast cancer and then I've also had a cousin who passed away from breast cancer. So even more so in the cancer society. But yeah, like there, there's always should be something you're working towards. Okay, if you're doing this, like what is the end result? What is the mission? Like, okay, you're funny. You have your boobs out. You have your ass out. Like, okay, what are you doing this for? I'm sorry. I'll put it back. <laughs> but, um... See, nobody, nobody can see that. Well, you told them I had my ass out. No, no. But, um, okay. So, have a mission. And the, in, in the end result, in the beginning result. So, what you end is what you begin. Mm-hmm. Right? God put everybody on this earth for a reason. Find that reason. Find the reason. And that's so that people that are trying to be in the same kind of lane that you're in, mm-hmm. I mean... Got your own lane, but trying to do the same thing. What would you would you start out by saying? Start by having a mission. Uh, well, mission is almost probably a little higher than a goal, I guess. Mm-hmm. Goals you can have like little miniature goals, and then from there start working towards stuff. But what I'm saying that in that sense is like have something in life to live for. You never know whose day you're gonna make doing that. Like. Right. Just like I never know whose day I'm going to make by making them laugh or uplifting them like, dang, Lauren, I was having a bad day, but you just, like, pushed me farther. Like, that stuff like that to me is inspiring. So it's like, I got to keep doing what I'm doing. Have you had anybody reach out to you, like, on a more serious level as far as, like, any famous people, any producers, any directors that have seen your skit and want to work with you or bring you in on commercials or anything that's going to be more lucrative than kind of what you're doing now? More so in the clothing brands and stuff like that because I do have the modeling side as mm-hmm. well as the entertainment. Um, I just received a shipment in from Ellie 
they're like a uh, fitness, mm-hmm. but it's like a box that they give you, and it's like a sports bra, a shirt, pants, and like a water bottle and all that kind of stuff. So it's like, so they're just ordering something online, you get this whole little box. Right. Um, what else? Girl, flat tummy tea and all that waist training gang, they coming after you too. Cause yeah. That's... Yeah, it's, it's, that definitely has. Um, some of the Instagrammers from L.A. are wanting to shoot with me, and it's like, financially, it's just hard to just go on a weekend and just fly out. So that's Not my yet. next step going towards Vegas. So I'll be leaving last Sunday of this month to mm-hmm. go to West Coast. That's what's good. Don't forget about us little folks when you blow up, Lauren. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you coming, sitting down with me. Um, Beyond perception, again, is always it's always about the person that's actually interpreting who you are and what they see. And the interpretation is based upon who's receiving it, right? Mm-hmm. So is there anything that you want to clear up? Any, anything that you just want to kind of say before we go ahead and say au revoir? Uh, no, I feel like my... My Instagram is pretty much who I am. Like, what what you see on your Instagram is what you see in person. For some people, it's not. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. A lot of people flex and do all that shit. Like, what you see on my Instagram, like, when you meet me in person, like, damn, you really are, like, your Instagram. Like, I have a couple of fans that want to meet up with me before I move to Vegas. And I'm kind of debating because it's like you have to kind of be careful about the Wait, you moving for real? Like, you moving? I'm I'm leaving. Oh, you leaving Atlanta? I thought you was going to visit. No, I'm I'm leaving. The goal right now is for the summer, but wow, yeah, don't shit. And like I said, don't forget about us little people. I don't look at it like that. Like I feel like whether you got a million followers or fourteen million, like if you're like a real down ass chick, like you'll never forget the people that you rock with when you was at the bottom of the ladder, because you never know when you're gonna meet them coming back down. So you said the best. Just saying. All right. Thank you, Lauren. Anytime.